and this is Wine Nation TV. Today my guest is Dino Mencarini from Abundance Vineyards from Lodi, California. Dino and his brother Ron have been pioneers in the Lodi wine growing region since the early 1950s. Their parents and grandparents had harvested various crops uh, for many years, but in 1961, after years of farming corn and wheat for his father and brother, Dino decided to make a change and focus solely on his passion for wine grapes. Dino and Ron have planted grapes in various Appalachians in California, but their home base is in Lodi, where they grow Old Vine Zinfandel, Carignan, and other hardy red varieties. Their Lodi Abundantly Rich Red, which is a combination of Lodi, Old Vine Zinfandel, and Carignan, and their Old Vine Zinfandel wines, are two of Lodi's best uh, red wines and also best values on the market. I first met Dino in 2008 and immediately liked him. He's a no-nonsense kind of guy who takes no prisoners and has a very colorful vocabulary. He reminds me of the great old-timers in the California wine business I met when I was very young. He's salty, he's rough, he's testy, but deep down, he's a really good guy, I think, and he makes absolutely great wine. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're basically a family here. All our input is pretty highly respected. You know, we sit down and do our blends together. The labels are decided on. Whatever we do, as far as uh, the blends itself, we all decide here. I mean, and it's uh, something that's been special to us, where we can kind of feed off one another and, and uh, uh, draw out the interest that all these people have in our wines. That's really good. Um I also uh, have noticed that the price points on the wines are very reasonable for the quality. Is that something you're really striving to produce a really great quality wine at a very reasonable price? That's always been one of our goals. And I know that uh, for us right now, if you look around some of the Lodi wines, wineries here, that their pricing is a little bit more than ours. And uh, it kind of, my price for the quality we have here, I think sometimes works against us because people still come in here feel that the, the more they pay, the better the wine, which is not yeah. true. Right. We all know that. Right. So Anyway, we're going to keep it that way. The economy is such as it is today. There's no way we can jockey around with the price right now, and I don't intend to. I hope to. Everybody has a, a good product, a good uh, wine for the, a good value for the, for the dollar anyway, let me put it that way. What do you see the future for Abundance Vineyards? Uh, before we go broke, <laughs> I see the future at abundance uh, without any, uh, down, down my, in my little crystal ball, I don't see abundance being any big player. I just want to, I just want to, I have a goal as far as the amount of cases I want to get to, and uh, I want to have fun with this thing, mm -hmm. and enjoy the people that come in, and really this is, uh, this tasting room has provided me with an opportunity to really come and direct. Uh, contact with the everyday consumer that I feed off of and I enjoy a lot. Do people come from all over, I guess all over the country and probably all over the world? Uh, maybe not all over the world, but I'll tell you in the last few months we've had them from a lot of the eastern states. Uh, people are coming in here from the uh, East Bay, uh, north of us here, and they're, uh, I'm not trying to down uh, uh, Napa and Sonoma, but they seem to like the the whole thing that we're creating here as far as the friendliness and, and you know, open arm to people that come in. And Amy, do you, people. 
didn't mean to interrupt you there. Amy, um, actually I did. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, Amy uh, do you have a wine club? Yes, we do. We have a wine club and it's grown since we've opened up in January. Um, and there's no, there's no fee to join it. Um, you get 20% off all your wines. We do it quarterly. Um, we always have some type of party for them when they come pick up, whether we do hamburgers. Last time we did a bunch of appetizers and hors d'oeuvres and we did music. Um, our next shipment will be in December and it's usually somewhere around 30 and 40 dollars. Is that when uh, Dino did a hula dance, or was that? Oh no, never mind. No, that was, no I did a flame, uh, uh, a sword, uh, a, a torch dance that night there. No, I want to mention about the wine, cl wine club. Uh, I've been telling the girls that uh, I don't want to have just a wine club. We want to provide provide more than just a wine club. We want to do some educational stuff in the back room here. And actually, I'm at a point now that our wine club has grown to where I want to start limiting people. I want to limit so we can really focus on taking care of the customers that we have the right way. You have to be a certain height and size and yes, you it's got to be a probably well for you you'd have to be about this tall <laughs> and you already disqualified because you're too tall. <laughs> how, how you're not going to like be cutting off people that are presently members I hope. No 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 we're not going to cut anybody <laughs> off but I'm serious about that. I mean we can't things get so out of hand that you can't really provide the type of service I want to provide and I think we're going to be a a little bit more selective in the way we do things. So it sounds like you want to, as part of being a club member, they you you want them to get a real education on how wine is made from the growing of the grapes to the final bottling of the wine. Give them a little bit of an education. On yeah, yeah, true. That's what I want to do. I think actually what I what I'm what I'm going to. I've always said that there's four seasons in the vineyard, and I want to show our wine club members what those four seasons are mm -hmm. without getting into the uh, chemistry of it all. Just the basics. Yeah. And we're going to do food and wine pairings, and uh, we're also going to do some com component tastings. This is an absolutely beautiful uh, tasting. You also have offices upstairs. Uh, how did you create the, this particular, uh, you know, who, who, who is the architect, or what was the concept behind it? Well, I, I've, I've been in Europe a couple of times. You see a lot of this in Europe, and I want that old country feel, which I think we've achieved here. You know, it's something that uh, I've had a lot of people that come here in the afternoon or wine club members that they, they just feel comfortable here. It's not so commercial. Right. right. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And we want to keep it still like, a, like we're a family when they come yeah. out, you know, know them by name. If you get too big, then you're not going to know everybody. Yeah, when I watched you, you were calling me some kind of dirty name. I don't know what... <laughs> Well, that's when you're here. You ought to see when you're gone the names that she calls you. And we just want to keep it fun for them and have a, have a fun place to go and a family atmosphere. And um, they all seem to be enjoying it. They all come out all the time for our, our free music, for our events we have just for them. So um, it's been well, great. Well, and just like Amy says there, uh, you can't believe uh, when we have music here every other weekend, how many people come up to me, even non-wine club members, and thank us for what we're doing here. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have fun. Well, thank you very much. It's Abundance Vineyards in Lodi. We'll have the address on the screen if you look <laughs> right there, including the web address. And um, Dino, Amy, thank you very much for being on Wine Nation TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.